Hey YouTubers, I just want to give you a, a update on this one. I got the parts in and uh, finally got her done. Um, for all those naysayers out there that think that it's not these... Excuse the camera here. Focus, come on. Don't think these thermocouplers go bad. You're wrong. They, this one had a thermocouple issue, which is like I told you, a P421F. This is a Tabishia autocoupler. Um, I've seen plenty of these go bad. Like I said, sorry about the camera. But uh, yeah, I actually had to replace. As you can tell, I did mark mine. And like I said, this is brand new. It's refurbished as of right now. As you can tell where I replaced the, you can excuse my soldering, but it's horse shit soldering, guys. I can't solder with a hell of shit. Um, you can tell on the bottom of the board where these dips are. Um, let me see here. Excuse me. Fucking around the camera here. I'm just trying to find it. Just, there's that. There's, there it is right there. He's, you can see that I have horseshit soldering. Um, that's where that dip is. Um, it looks like it goes from R54 to R21. Um, we also have a cap that I replaced, which is a better soldering job uh, right there. Like I said, I will show you right now that we have power on a voltmeter at 12 volts. Let me get it plugged in here. So all you naysayers with these Delta power supplies stating that you had to replace a whole crap ton of caps. I don't know where you guys are getting that from. Um, that's, like I said, you, you the test these, um, you put them on the ohm setting and go pin 1 and pin 2. Pin 1 is right here. Pin 2 is here. You should have one uh, ohms going one way. And you turn it around, put your negative here and your positive here. You shouldn't have anything coming out. It should be open. If it's not open, you're getting the same reading. The thing is junk. It's it's not a big deal. It's, uh, like I told you, Cheap Chip sells them on eBay. You can get them. Um, they're not a big deal to solder and unsolder. But I would recommend that you replace this, this C3 cap as well. Like I said, I'm going to show you right now that we have 12 volts on this on this puppy. After I turn on the switch here, and to test these, like I said, you go pin one, pin three here. I have a test rig set up. Go ahead and flip the switch. Let's see. And you will see that I have on my voltmeter, I have 12.01 volts. I will turn the switch off, and you will see that it will go down when you turn the switch off. Like it's supposed to. Um, if you have uh, one with a diode beep, that is a good indication of a bad uh, chip. Or, um, like I said, the uh, older ones, the Nikon ones, like to blow that. They like to blow this. Like I said, it's down to zero now because the switch is off. It likes to blow this here. Thanks to blow your rectifier, and you usually hear a whining noise when these go bad on, on the Nikons. Um, but like I said, when the power is on, don't probe them. You will blow up, you'll, you will hurt yourself. Um, like I said, it's one of those things where um, I was not trying to do a theory thing here. It's um, all over the internet. Um, I've replaced a couple, I just was trying a hard time finding these damn chips. Um, like I told you, you can get a used one on eBay, but they want 20 sometimes 30 40 dollars. If you want a cheap one from China, they're about nine dollars, and you can wait 30 you can wait up to 30 days to get those three to six weeks. Um, I have actually ordered a couple for my version nine. Um, I ordered like four of them, they just got here probably, probably not even a week ago, and I already have those repaired. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but uh, like I said, I'll put up another video soon. I know I only have like one subscriber, but uh, like I said, these are hopefully helpful tips for people that actually want to sit there and with a 
that's handy with a soldering iron and uh, just want to fix their power supply cheap like I said these chips were probably four dollars these ones were like four dollars was six dollars or seven dollars shipping it's about ten bucks and this cap right here was about a dollar like I said it's a 33 33 microfarad 35 volt they're about a dollar a piece on eBay so you're talking with shipping these are mostly sometimes they're basically free shipping um, I'm sorry like I said sorry about the camera but like I said these are about I got these for free shipping this one I paid about six dollars shipping so you're looking at about fifteen dollars to fix your power supply I'll put up another video soon